What's up guys and gals, this is Michael from Mic Drop, and I'm here to talk to you about some of these tests I'm doing with the um, Catalyst software. Um, this is a software I think exclusively for the A7S III as of now. Uh, and what it does is basically turn your completely unstabilized footage into something magically stabilized. The only way to do this is to turn off your IBIS, which uh, of course when you have IBIS and even active IBIS, you'll always use this, but hang on, because if you turn it off and then you use the gyroscopic data from your camera, which is being recorded as you film, you know the camera and the software know exactly how you were shaking on your hand meaning they can just turn into this this buttery smooth stabilized footage of course you'll your hand will wobble back and forth and it'll never be perfect but it'll be damn near perfect sometimes you'll nail it a few times and most of the other times it'll be fine now you'll have to have a pretty high uh, shutter speed for this to work because if you have a low shutter speed, of course, your hand might wobble and yeah, you'll definitely see those small jitters, uh, even though you stabilize it. Uh, it can actually look really uh, uh, weird if you, uh, if you see a lot of shakes in stabilized footage. Yeah, just push your shutter speed up to like 300, 400, 500, and then you add motion blur later in post which will compensate for your really, really uh, crisp uh, images. So yeah, like this basketball is a perfect example. Uh, without the uh, IBIS, it looks terrible. And with the Catalyst and uh, Da Vinci Resolve uh, Stabilizer, it looks, it looks pretty much perfect. Uh, of course, it'll crop in. You decide how much it'll crop in um, in the program. But um, usually, if you've um, held uh, quite a steady hand, you won't really see it crop that much. Uh, also here, I'm using an 85 millimeter and walking around the model of the day. You know, it's it's uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's, the shutter speed isn't even that high at 200. Yeah, and here I'm actually walking like a duck with the camera between my legs and it, it cleans up really good. Now, I might not use this for professional occasions, but if you were in a pinch and you had just maybe forgot your stabilizer, you can totally do this. Just turn off the IBIS, hold your camera steady and let software do the rest. I also did some night shots, um, which is of course tricky because you'll have to raise your shutter speed while there's not much light. So yeah, the ISO is definitely turned up here and you'll see that I'm standing still in these shots, which allows me to of course uh, stabilize um, uh, a lot easier and also use um, uh, noise, uh, what's it called? Ah, denoiser. Uh, but but look at this footage right here. Uh, this is me walking fairly rapidly backwards. I'm, yeah, I'm backpedaling quite uh, hard here. But this is handheld with no stabilizer. And then just everything is software. It's, um, yeah. I couldn't believe that when I saw it when I got home. The only thing I haven't uh, been able to make work is the uh, slow motion. Uh, this for instance, Catalyst wouldn't accept this, but this is filmed using the SNQ mode. I might be able to get the Catalyst slow-mo if I use the regular high frame rate option, not SNQ. But anyway, that was the test. Here is some uh, 200 frames per second dancing. Thank you so much guys, and I'll see you again. Thanks, bye.